should you be fearful? Healthy fear and unhealthy fear. <laughs> Should we be fearful? Hello, you all. I'm Diana Brienne. Healthy fear and unhealthy fear. Well, I got to thinking about fear today because there's so much fear right now. Should we be fearful? When we listen to the news, it's just all about bad stuff right now. The economy and, and all the other stuff that's going on. And so should we be fearful? Well, I believe that there's healthy fear and unhealthy fear. If a bear is charging at us through the woods, that is healthy fear that we have to get out of that bear's way so that we're protecting ourselves. So fear, I believe, is designed for us to use in a healthy way to safeguard us from things that can harm us. So fear is a necessary part of life to protect us. And yet, I think most fears are not healthy fears. Most fears fall in the category of unhealthy fears. Those are the fears that hold us back from our very best life. Those are the fears that create a worrisome, a worrisome attitude. People who worry all the time and they're fretting and they're scared. And so I believe in healthy fear, using genuine fear to protect us from things that can harm us in some way or be bad for us. And yet I believe in avoiding unhealthy fear that can hold us back from our best life. With all that's going on in the news, should we be fearful? Well, I believe in being proactive in my life. I believe in being alert. I believe in uh, preparing. Uh, as if, you know, perhaps if something is going to happen and be prepared and hope that it doesn't, but I'm prepared and, but I'm not fearful because fear really, really will hold a person back and it will cause them to, um, well, not be all that happy if we're living in fear, we're not going to be happy. And so, like I said, fear is designed to protect us. It's not meant to hold us back. And so should we be fearful? I don't think we should be fearful. I think what we should do is use fear wisely as it was designed for us in the right way. And so I rather think of myself as being alert and proactive and protective and, uh, you know, just doing all the right things for my life and staying on top of things and, and staying in what I call the know, knowing what's going on around me and what to do to the best of my ability. And so fear um, really is, uh, it can be a positive emotion or a negative emotion, depending upon how it's used. It's a negative emotion when we are using it in a way that uh, is not designed to protect us, but it's being designed to hold us back. And so, you know, I get on the internet and I get on a lot of these live streams and I hear people and they're talking so fearful and I can understand it. I can understand it. Um, and yet I can see where they're coming from. And yet I think that in many instances, they're using fear in the wrong way. So I believe in using fear in a way that can help me design a plan to avoid things that are not good for me but I don't want to use fear to hold me back from my best life from my house to yours may God bless you and I hope to talk to you soon again mm -hmm.